Alrighty, welcome to another edition of Tax Pro Talk or hashtag whatever TPT. it is. I'll get it down eventually. I'm Tony. This is David. Today we're talking at the AICPA Engage Engage 2018. Uh, we're going through a lot of things. David and I are learning a lot this last week here. And, and David, I want to ask you from the um, perspective of a peer colleague in the industry, right? What have you seen as far as transformation impact that tax reform has had this season? Uh, it's been very interesting. I've been listening to Barry uh, Melanson speak today about uh, changes with tax reform being come more holistic. It's not just about the tax return anymore. People want to find out everything that relates to retirement, planning, education. Sure. So the tax return is becoming more of a commodity and people want to see a holistic approach to how they can be better off, even including wealth management as sure. part of that. So what would you say as far as a, uh, tips to tax pros out there that may are going through a transformation right now into that sort of transformation, this holistic approach? Well, I, I think the tax pros now really got to start to uh, t spend more time with the tax planning with their clients during the year and uh, maybe change the approach from uh, presenting a tax return to presenting a value pricing type approach to a service where they're going to do not just a tax return, but tax planning, wealth management, education, mm -hmm. and uh, help them understand more about their life. Sure. And, and, and for you, David, you've been in the industry for a long time. You've seen transformation happen, right? A big thing that we're hearing buzzword is transform into tax planning strategies. So what kind of tax planning have you done with your clients, introduce it, things like that? Well, it's kind of interesting that you're asking that. So when we think of what really happened, and I think you had that in your other little session, you know, Tax uh, Reform Act came about at the very end of the year, and uh, That's right. clients called you immediately right before Christmas. They want to know how it would be affecting them then. So we really got into a tax planning approach late in the year and actually mm -hmm. carried it over into 2018. Now that tax season's over and we're in June, we need to see our clients now and sit down and advise them how to make their next steps to avoid paying taxes for this upcoming year. There's no longer wait till November. Uh, there's a lot of changes and that's actually kind of interesting because if you're working with the clients and you're working with a business, uh, you should spend more time now while transforming into client advisory services from the accounting standpoint to advise them what to do from a tax sure. standpoint. Now, as we talk about that too, David, is there, you can't just take a shotgun approach, right? You have to be kind of strategic in which clients you work with first. So where would you start if you looked at your client base or you're talking to a peer on if they wanted to transition to more tax planning, where would you start? Well, you have to take a look at your uh, client base and see what particular niche or specialty you're working with and find the largest group of clients they work with. Say you have uh, a lot of uh, medical practitioners. Focus on understanding what all the changes are that affect them, and then focus on dealing with your clients from that perspective. You know, just even dealing with your clients, and I know uh, you have a lot of uh, Lacert users listening, uh, they can just go into Lacert and segment their returns and see how many of their clients have paid a, a lot of real estate taxes in the past because that's going to change under the new law with the limitations and they should focus on the clients that are affected by the change and I do believe, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, within the CERT when they ran the tax return last year, they ran what the tax return would be under the new tax sure. law. Yep, those yeah. are tax impact summary. Yeah, so people should take a look at their tax impact summary and see which of their clients are sure. drastically affected and then go to those clients first and come up with a tax strategy how to reduce their taxable income for the upcoming year. Yep. And I know too, part of this tax planning transition, David, another part of that is transition to cloud, right? We're seeing technology impact this industry quite a bit. So what would you tell a peer who's making that switch to desktop applications to cloud solutions? Where, where do you start? Where do you begin? What are some of those big benefits that you've seen in your transformation? Well, first of all, I'm a bit, I'm a bit biased about the cloud. I've been in the cloud a number of years. And if you listen to Barry Melanson this morning, uh, talking about how the cloud came about uh, a couple of years ago. Now right. is the, the time to go to the cloud, pick the solutions that you're going to work with from a tax standpoint. Uh, many people are in different places and different locations. If your information is in the cloud, you can get it anywhere. You don't have to worry about actually, I believe, the licensing from a uh, ProConnect tax online. It's not charged for location. It's right. just charged for usage. 
a great, great advantage for saving, saving money and just accessing the tax return yep. anywhere, anytime. That's right. And I love your tagline about being a millennial, millennial trapped well, in a well, baby boomer's body. Well, that's how I like to describe myself as a millennial in a baby boomer's body. And you're never too old. And I think Eric uh, from BKD this morning also talked about uh, you got to unlearn what you've learned and learn new things at this point in time. That's right. And what, what I'm hearing, David, the, the theme, I think, for the future and the theme for this industry is really about how you change how you do the work. You can't expect to replicate what we did in the past with these new technologies, this new stuff. It's really about how do I do the work differently. Think about that, from an, especially from an automation standpoint and what the cloud can deliver. Um, you know, would you agree with that? I would agree. It's uh, time to uh, look at what you've done in the past, not just change it, rethink it from scratch. And even that came out today with uh, Barry Melanson in his opening speech when he talked about the number of non-accounting majors being hired. I know there's accounting firms out there hiring data scientists, cryptologists, yep. uh, and other professions. And we can't be Sally, same as last year. We've got to look at things differently, and there's new ways and new methods mm -hmm. to do things. So bring in people who think differently and change what you do. Yep. And I heard it, I read in an article recently, David, that said, change, transformation is hard, but not changing is fatal. So this is a critical time where we've got to make these hard changes, this transformation into this new wave of the industry moving forward. All right, I guess it's time for me to step over and let you take the main stage and the main seat nope, as a more mean. mature individual. You teach me everything I know, buddy. <laughs> we appreciate it. Well, that's going to do it. David, I appreciate you joining me for today on Tax Pro Talk. We'll see you guys again. Hopefully we'll do more. We'll bring David around more, but it's been great this week at Engage 2018. We'll see you guys next time on Tax Pro Talk or hashtag, hashtag TPT. Take care.